So guys, if you have followed my tutorial about the female head, for example, or any other tutorial that I have, you may end up with this kind of mesh, which is DynaMesh. It doesn't have subdivisions, it doesn't have a lower version of it, so it's a little bit unusual, unuseful, uh, or useless, we'll see. Mm, but you can make it work by uh, zero meshing it. So let's go to Geometry, uh, tap and then Zero Mesher, and then go to uh, Zero Mesher by default is around 5. So we go to 1.5 something, and zero measure, and you will see that zero measure will do it very, very rough. It will be not very nice. But we have a way to make it follow some guidelines, and those guidelines are exactly the zero measure guidelines. So you can see our polygons now, they are not looking good in this area, here also bad, here. In the nose area, it's very nice. But only them, only there. The other areas are just crap. So the nose area is pretty much almost perfect. I'm just amazed. But the other areas, no. So we control Z and we go to zero measure brush. I'm now at it, but I will show you how to get it there. So let's go to a standard brush and then go to B for brushes, Z for Z remesher brush, and then zero measure guide brush, which is R, you can see here. So B, Z, R. And we go to zero measure brush. Make sure your brush size is small. And then, like mine, not like this, but small. And then we start following the shape of the mouth. A little bit like this. Then, a little bit like this. We are just making some loops around the mouth, which is very important. Because this will make sure that how uh, this will be okay. Here we have a problem because uh, if you pass through another loop, near another loop, uh, closer than the the diameter of the of your brush, the loops will start to collide. So you have to not do that. Okay, we have made the loop for the mouth. Let's make a loop for the eye, and try to not make the loop too sharp, because if you make it sharp. Uh, Probably it will be a problem. Let's see if it will. Okay, now it's nice. I will make another loop here around the eye. I want to make sure that the geometry around the eye will be good for animation, for example. And that's why I'm making these loops mostly. Hopefully in the nose area it will make it as it was before. But I doubt about it because I doubt it. Not doubt about it. I doubt it because uh, now we have this... Uh, this guidelines that it will follow in the areas that it has to follow them and in the other areas probably the things will change a little bit but if we make it like this okay let's make one here and one here just for fun and let's try now zero measure our curve strength is 51 by default it's 50 so this means that ZBrush will follow the curves that we have made 50% so it will follow them, but sometimes not exactly. Uh, which is unfortunate, but let's see how it uh, will handle this. And I will tell you what we will do. Sometimes this will be very nice. Sometimes we will have a few problems. But these problems, uh, it will be very difficult to, uh, to make sure they work in ZBrush. So probably you should go in some different software and fix them. But basically, it will make it look uh, relatively nice. Now, for example, our polykind account is pretty low, so uh, it has made here a problem. In the mouth area is uh, probably fine, but in the nose area is not. So I'll control Z and try to force it to make in the nose area some loops like this. And another one here, probably. Or... If you want to delete a loop, you just have to ALT drag above it, so it will delete it. I will try to make some loops here for the nose also. One thing here, just to show the, zip, show the brush where we want our polygons to go. I want this. Yeah, basically you have to know 
where your polygons where you want your polygons to go but still if you follow these guidelines that i'm making now if you do them similar probably you will be okay with this so this should be fine but let's see let's make it like this and then go like this just a little bit and then try again zero measure if something bad happens again first we will increase the target poly count which now is 1.5 which is 1.5k polygons it rarely is uh, doing this it's making them at least double that but yeah it's aiming for that Ooh, now it looks pretty pretty nice so it's relatively good except for this part of part of the eye here this part of the eye is not also not super nice the nose is relatively nice and we have all the forms in the other areas the chin uh, doesn't have mm, enough polygons probably but i don't know if we can fix that exactly but other than that it looks much much better than before so we can try to uh, do one more thing just control z increase poly count around almost two and then go and increase the curve strength to around 70 for example and zero mesh and whatever happens we will accept it and i will show you how to project what you have done uh, before from dynamesh to the low poly and make subdivisions of this dynamesh head so now it looks pretty nice it has some issues but they are minor minor so we will do this duplicate this then make it without eyes so we have now two low poly versions but the top one has a history so we control z the top one and we have the uh the version with the the more polygons and the poly paint and everything because this um these things all the eyebrows and everything are poly paint obviously so if we want to get rid of those lines we just we just control drag the model no we're not if we want to uh, get rid of those lines i can just go ahead and alt drag there was another way of uh, getting rid of them but i just uh, don't remember it so now we get got rid of them i think it was just by clicking yes just by clicking without any uh, other thing just clicking on it and everything will disappear now we go to the lower mesh and we go to the project or project we will project details so now uh, all we have to do is we have to be uh, only those layers visible or those sub tools this and this and this is the high this is the low we are now on the low and we can see the high is also visible but we are on the low so we go to project all but first control d which will make a subdivision and then project all it will ask us if we want the poly painting it will say always yes and now you can see it's going somewhere so control d again and then project all and we'll have a little bit more detail even and now control d and uh, we don't need to project uh, in this case because our head is not that uh, much polygons but if we had some kind of a uh, pores or something we can project even that so it's pretty nice now this one is 272,000 polygons and this one is 3,000 300,000 so it's pretty good and the the polygons are uh, nicely going around every form and everything and i hope this uh, could be useful to you of course this is a uh, issue here we have uh which we have to we had to think about before we start uh, reprojecting but yeah whatever now it's it's impossible to fix now of course it's possible everything is possible but the thing is that um this tutorial was just to show you how you can easily make it and now we can make even we can uh, hide this and we can make a low poly not low poly but uv coordinates for example 
how you can go to the plugin and dock this here then UV master and then we can uh, uh, most of the time I work on clone but now we will try to work exactly on this model so we will just unwrap let's see what happens so flatten will show us okay so work on clone flatten and this is our unwrapped head which doesn't look good so we will unflatten and we will try to uh, work on it a little bit more so first we will enable control painting protect we want when you click protect you will start to draw and we want the face to be protected so it won't have seams on the face so i will try to protect the face mostly okay i cannot draw here which is unfortunate i can try fill it okay so this is protect and attract will attract the seams to whatever we want so attract the seams to this part of the head for example no but protect is more uh more that we want we want all this area i will just mask it it will be easier for me to mask it and then reverse the mask and fill object and now we have protected area and now we have the area that we might want some seams and then we will unwrap and basically what it has to be is flattened we'll see that our face is now here it's protected and it's it's looking good and we just want to unflatten copy uvs go to our other mesh which is the real mesh paste uvs and now we'll have uvs for this head and we can make a texture and everything uh, we want so this is the base let's see the eyes fitting perfectly we have low poly you can put this in max it's uh, how many polygons five five thousand polygons so it's good for mm, kind of a renders and everything it's nice we have a uh, we have even uvs now which we can use so that's about it that was what i want to show and bye for now